I'm Lisa from Active Domestics and today I'm going to show you how to clean a bathroom. Now have a look around quickly, we're going to do this in under 10 minutes so it's just going to be a quick clean to demonstrate the basics. This bathroom is very dirty and where I'd probably start to begin with is just getting the clients things out of the way. So I'll put that down and I'll put their toothbrushes and things over there so that we don't get anything on. We're also going to take these things off here, they can just go down on the, on the ground here, and I'm going to put the bath mat down. This bath mat's already got bleach stains and things like that on it, um, but anyway, so but if the bath mat was actually a really nice one, you'd t just take it out and sit it at the, um, the floor of the, of the door of the bathroom. First of all, what you do, for this sort of bathroom is just get in there and give everything a good wipe. <clears throat> These tiles aren't too bad. In some people's bathrooms they have a lot of mould just because they can't leave their windows open or things like that. So some, some bathrooms are more prone to getting mould problems than others. <clears throat> I'm just doing this really quickly just so that we can get the video done, basically. <clears throat> the tiles are always going to be dirtier around here than they are up the top. It's always easier cleaning the tiles at the top and always remember to never turn this around like that and then leave it because if you leave it like that and don't turn it back around and then the client comes back and oops, just pop that over there and the client comes back and you've you know and the water spurts out water all over their bathroom they will not be happy Actually, what I will do with this, I should have done this to begin with. Let's just get that right out of the way. So I'm wiping all the product on. And also wiping all the stainless steel fixtures. Okay. Get out. I'm quickly going to rinse my cloth. <clears throat> Actually, I'll start from over here and give everything another wipe just to rinse all that off. very quickly and you would probably spend a bit more time rinsing and wiping than what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> As I'm not very good at editing for um, film so we have to go with the uh, stand over there Zach. Right now I want to show you about using the right product for the right job. Here we've got a bit of mold happening here. Spraying it with the uh, mold away whatever you whatever brand you want to use. I'll just spray a bit into these corners. Tiny wee bit there. Apart from that, there's nothing. So we're going to let that sit for a little while. probably been wearing gloves for that but anyway mm -hmm. I did not. Now while that's working I just want to show you about using the right product for the right job. 
First of all, I'm going to try a bit of shower, um, spray and wipe on this. You can see how dirty this bath is. <clears throat> I'm rubbing it with the spray and wipe and it is getting some of it off. And it's okay, but it's not, really, it's not carrying over to do anything over here. Now I want to show you, I'm just going to rinse my cloth out again. Every time I'm rinsing, I'm sort of giving this a little light too. You with me, Zach? Yes. <clears throat> Stand back a bit, mate. <clears throat> and so by using the right product, which would be this here, and I'll even use a little bit up along here as well, then it's going to be the right product for the right job. And that's really making it a lot cleaner. I mean, this isn't the best bath, but it does come up clean. Rubbing that in. It's a bit of a water rust mark here. Getting around those taps. And then I'm going to let the product sit for a moment. How are we going for time, Zach? Oh, uh, at this almost seven minute mark. All right. Rubbing that in. Now I've already got heaps of product still on my cloth, so I can use this <clears throat> and clean around here. Still got a lot of product in my cloth. I'm actually going to clean the mirror first, particularly in a bathroom. If it was just in a bedroom, it might just need to be done with the mirror stuff. But in the bathroom, it just gets really dirty. <clears throat> oh, we had to shut the window in here and it's getting hot, but if we had to open, it would be too glary from the sun. So I'm getting right around the tap fixtures. If we had a, um, a dish here to put our soap in, you would clean the soap dish. Let's start the rinsing now. Now if you weren't all trying to do this in under 10 minutes, <clears throat> you would give the top things over here a wipe because you can see how dusty they get because we always leave the window open. Whew. Sometimes it's quite hard to get all the products rinsed from your um, cloth and one of the best ways to get rid of the extra product is sometimes just to wipe around walls and things like that. I've got another cloth here, which is a glass polishing shining cloth. It's a microfiber cloth. It's got shiny, um, tightly woven fibers as opposed to the cleaning ones. Ugh. I don't want to move that too much. Get that little bit over there a bit later, but I'm going to keep moving. Okay, then we want to, you can see how that whilst we've done that, the uh, mould away has taken away that mould over there. And then I'm just giving everything a quick rinse. And whilst I'm there, 
you wipe over the <clears throat> wipe over the products and stuff before you put it back for the client. And this is the very quick version of, what, of cleaning a bathroom, a bath and a bathroom. Now make sure you don't leave any hair around. If you've got long hair, you should probably have your hair up. And make sure that you finish up by getting your glass and your polishing cloth and polish those stainless steel bits. If you don't clean the stainless steel bits, they will um, get stained by the, the minerals in the water and they won't look nearly as good. And particularly in some people's bathrooms where they've got really nice stainless steel fittings in their bathroom, it's quite a feature. And actually I'd normally finish up by running around this cloth onto the tiles and giving them a bit of a polish up too, just so that you know you're not leaving any watermarks. And of course I'd open the window so that it's drying as quickly as possible. Okay, that's the very quick bathroom clean. I'm Lisa from Active Domestics and um, hope that's been helpful. Thank you.